And overnight news that Ocano High School boys basketball coach no longer holds that title. Mike Rico was placed on paid suspension last Monday because the district said he showed poor sportsmanship during a game against Sturgeon Bay January 22nd. Last night, the Ocano School Board, School Board held a special meeting to determine if Rico should keep his coaching job, and they decided he should not. Therefore, he remains a teacher, but his role as a coach is over. Fox 11's Becky DeVries has both sides of the story. It was a debate that lasted more than two hours. We feel it was the best interest of the Ocano basketball program and the athletes involved for Coach Rico to step down and be dismissed. I believe I have done a reasonable job and truly enjoyed my experience up until the, the harassment and retaliation by administration, okay, which started over the last few years. Ocanto's Mike Rico tried to prove he's a good coach who should keep his coaching job. One of the issues at the special board meeting in Ocanto, whether or not Rico celebrated with one of his players after the player was ejected from the January 22nd game against Sturgeon Bay. Sturgeon Bay's superintendent told the Ocano School Board that during that game, Rico had displayed the worst sportsmanship he had ever seen. Others who were at the game told the board they did not see Rico congratulate an ejected player, but did see others celebrate with that player. Green, I. After meeting for about an hour behind closed doors, all but one member of the Ocanto School Board voted to have Mike Riekel removed from his coaching duties. Though Riekel says the decision was more about personal issues. Well, that was expected. It was, in my uh, opinion, it was predetermined. Uh, it's a true act of retaliation right from the beginning. Personally, I think it was just a waste of three hours. The district superintendent says the decision had to do with Rico's behavior at games, which failed to meet the reasonable expectation of good sportsmanship. We were looking at coaching. We have a background of information regarding coaching. There are evaluations regarding coaching. That's what we were looking at. That's what the board was looking at. Now the school board considers its next move in replacing Riekel, and Riekel considers his next move as a staff member of the Ocanto Unified School District. In Ocanto, Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. Riekel, who has a 15-year coaching history, says he will continue teaching, but will look at options in other districts. He also says he does not plan to file a grievance.